hear ye. The Queen's Court stands in order. I understand you're ready to unravel the Thames murders. A terribly complicated case indeed. Uh, tell me who murdered Nathan Ravel. Uh, please choose from either your notebook or the directory. Positively correct. Now tell the court why did Maud murder Ravel? So, Maud was merely a henchman. Now who put an end to his unsavory life? Excellent deduction. Now why did Twiggs kill Maud? Brilliant reasoning. Now tell the court who murdered Charles Attard. Twiggs was a busy and brutal man, wasn't he? Tell me, why did he do it? I suppose Attard was no match for Twiggs in a gunfight, but clearly someone was. Tell the court who finally murdered Curtis Twiggs. Superb deduction! Now what was Jack Card's motive? Oh, what a tangled web we weave. Now please tell the court who murdered Roland Jacquard. Bravo! Now, what was Escobedo's motive? Exemplary work on a most difficult case. The court is recessed. Until next time. An extremely difficult case and your score is absolutely perfect. I'm quite sure we could not have done any better. Well, Holmes, you've done it again. Well, I believe we've done it, Watson. Oh, yes. <laughs> but the twists and turns of this one still puzzle me. W would you mind... Uh... Elaborating? Mm -hmm. Not at all. Nathan Revell was a simple, hard-working fellow whose one passion became his undoing. Twist? Indeed. Once he began to play with the likes of Moran and Jacquard, his fate, I'm afraid, was sealed. Do you suppose he was cheated? Out of his money and his life. 
You see, by cheating Ravel at the card table, Morad was able to force him to participate in his scheme to embezzle from Lindsay and company. And once he had Ravel under his thumb, he enlisted Charles Attard, who was Mrs. Lindsay's lawyer. Through him, he was able to gain access to the firm's confidential records, and thus he had all he needed to execute his embezzlement scheme. I suppose Mr. Ravel's suicide note would suggest he had a change of heart. Precisely, Watson. And on the evening he was to take the embezzled securities to Moran, Ravel wrote that suicide note and left the documents in his room for Patterson to find. So that's how modern twigs fit in. Yes. Moran sent them to kill Ravel and retrieve the stolen securities. Maud, the gunman, shot Ravel and he and Twiggs dropped the body into the Thames. But holding six thousand pounds was too much temptation for Twiggs. He killed Maud, took the securities and the Mauser T-11 and went into hiding. So then a Tard went looking for Twiggs. And unfortunately for him, he found him. Twiggs killed him with the gun he'd taken from Maud. What made you first suspect that it was your car that finally put an end to Curtis Twiggs? I knew from the moment we discovered the securities, the Mauser and the Lafo show at Jacquard's home. It all fit together, an all too common tale of dishonesty and betrayal. The only thing that didn't fit was the death of Roland Jacquard. I suppose if he'd been killed for the securities, we wouldn't have found them on his desk, would we? Very observant, Watson. You see, this was a death due not to his criminal intrigues, but to his romantic intrigue with one Letitia Garcia. There was another man who believed she belonged to him. Marco Escobedo? Yes. I've always thought it would be rather risky to become romantically involved with the lady friend of a pugilist. Words to live by, Watson. I shudder to think what happened that night. It is a grisly thought. Because after Jacquard murdered Twiggs and brought Miss Garcia back to his home, and into his bedroom, I might add, they were interrupted by Escobedo. Judging by the clothing strewn about the room, poor Mr. Jacquard must have been in the nude when Escobedo attacked and murdered him. That would explain the skivvies. Or lack thereof. Escobedo must have quickly dressed the body, not showing the same care as the fastidious Jacquard. He then rolled the body up in the bedroom rug and dumped it into the Thames. An ironic resting place, to be sure, since he knew nothing of Jacquard's involvement with the other murders. Positively brilliant, Holmes. Elementary, my dear Watson. 